Welcome to the program. Ecological catastrophe is looming upon occupied Donetsk and annexed Crimea. Three months ago, Ukraine's National Security Council legalized transport blockade of the Donbass. For some, the decision resembled victory over Russian-backed separatist forces. For others, it meant giving up on authentically Ukrainian territories. In any case, the decision determined further way of relations between the occupied territories and the rest of Ukraine. To talk about the issue, we are joined today by Olesa Tsibulko, she is the advisor to the Minister of Temporarily Occupied Territories of Ukraine. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much that you asked me to come. Okay, so ecological catastrophe. Is this the right um, term to use concerning the situation in occupied Donbass right now? Yes, now it's a big problem because uh, the water supply was damaged. Uh, according to fire and now we have no chance to repair the water supply of territory 14 towns without the water 58 villages and it's about 600,000 people without the water and the weather is hot now and mm -hmm. that's the problem that it could be uh, illness uh, and could be uh, problems with children adults and with even with pets. Okay, is the Ukrainian government doing anything to tackle the issue, to solve the problem? Of course, we, are, uh, we want to repair the water supply, but the problem is that fire is not stopping and uh, the personnel couldn't come and repair it. And now, uh, again, make a organization of uh, dialogue with other sites to stop firing, to make it, to have a chance to repair this. So, would you say that the, the blame for non-stopping fire is at Russian-backed separatist forces? Yes, of course, uh, because we want to repair and we ask them to stop it, to get people at their territory to repair them. But unfortunately, it's, it didn't clap yet. Uh, all right, moving on uh, to, to, to the other topic. Three months ago, the uh, Ukrainian government legalized the blockade uh, of the Donbass territories. Um, how is the industrial, uh, how would you evaluate the state of the industrial industry in Donbass right now? Is it totally paralyzed or is it still functioning because of it's um, being financed from Russia? Uh, some paralyzed, but some they are uh, starting to do steps for uh, make it working. I don't know how they will uh, sell their products, maybe through Russian firms. But um, uh, unfortunately, it's a problem because before that uh, plants paid taxes to Ukraine. Now they are stopped working or they started to pay taxes to these uh, unrecognized republics. So you're saying that Ukraine's budget is going to suffer? Of course, it suffer. That's the problem. Uh, and uh, I think that we shouldn't make uh, such a mistake. And when that activist blocked this uh, railway uh, ways, the, the, it should be deblocked. After that, uh, terrorist groups took these plans to their control. Mm -hmm. So it was a mistake of this activist and they st uh, make believe people that it will be better for Ukraine, but unfortunately it's not. Uh, exactly, because, well, uh, different opinions are around. Some people believe that uh, at this point uh, uh, the government of Ukraine should just abandon the occupied territories and focus on economic growth of the rest of the territories of Ukraine, while others are sure that Ukraine absolutely by all means uh, needs to get donbass back of How course could you comment of course i'm uh, i'm <laughs> from donetsk so it's uh, my homeland i couldn't say we should to uh, reject this territory it's impossible it's our territory we should make all steps to come back this territory what kind of steps are we talking about here uh, we are talking about agreements with uh, minsk agreements and we should to continue this uh, uh, speaking ab yes this, this pass uh, this dialogue to continue and continue to make steps forward peace so it's the only way now because uh, it's impossible to make it in military way because it will be too much victims 
from civil uh, people. So Would you say that uh, implementing Minsk agreements is the only way to get Donbass back? I think uh, that could be different types of agreements. They should to start maybe another format, but now all West countries, Europe and USA say we should to go by Minsk agreements ways. Mm -hmm. So it uh, depends how all world leaders will uh, make a dialogue on what format. But anyway, uh, now we have Minsk agreements. It's not so easy, but still we have no so much deaths as it was in 2014. So we could say that the situation is actually improving at this moment? Uh, not so quick as we wanted, but we hope that it will clap and uh, finally our territories will come back to Ukraine. It's wishes of many people as unoccupied territory at, at the occupied territories also, at uncontrolled territories. I, we receive many letters by email, by electronic uh, connection who say, when you come back, we, we are waiting for you. Oh God. Let's imagine or let's just um, foresee that uh, in a couple of years Ukraine does get Donbass back. Um, some people say that uh, it will only bring problems uh, because we will get back the territory that is practically destroyed, which would mean that uh, the territory needs financial boosting. Uh, and um, the population on the territory, I mean temporarily occupied territory, um, might still be not loyal enough to the idea of Ukrainian nation. How could we tackle those problems? It's work of every day, first of all. Uh, of course, the longer this situation will continue, the harder it will be to bring back this territory and to bring back mind of people because they are under propaganda of Russia and they believe that here in Ukraine everybody wants to kill them, hate them and unfortunately some people in Ukraine help them. Russia propaganda, uh, not consciously, but they help. They say, oh, why we need this, such territories? It's money, it's many problems, let's say them goodbye. But that people feel that they're Ukrainian, not all of course, mm -hmm. but some of them feel and they, they're waiting. We couldn't betray such people who are waiting for Ukraine and who are waiting for coming back. So it's very important to understand that we're Ukrainian and that's our territory. And nobody could ever say that that territory are not our and let's say we don't want them. It's but impossible. Does this go for Crimea as well? Of course. Crimea is also our territory. But I uh, assume getting Crimea back would be a bit more difficult than getting Donbass back. Of course, because they're annexed. And that's the problem that for Putin it will be most uh, damage of his pop uh, popularity, of his uh, ratings. So, uh, rates, so it, he will stay that Crimea is Russia. But we want these territories back. Maybe not now. Maybe in uh, different, we will bring up uh, Budapest Memorandum and other agreements. So we should uh, do every step for coming this territory back. If maybe it's impossible, will be in short perspective, but How we many years are we continue. talking about? Nobody 10, knows. 10, 20, 50, 100? <laughs> Nobody knows because it depends not only of Ukraine, it depends also uh, from Russia, it depends also from USA, from European Union, from all civil society, how they will support Ukraine in bringing their territories back. Well, thank you so much for the informative conversation. That was Alessia Tsibilko, an advisor to the Minister of Temporarily Occupied Territories of Ukraine. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.